How's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are back at the Franklin Project where we're gonna be installing a five ton Greeflex system. It's a variable speed 20 sear with three zones. Let's do some work. This video is brought to you by True Tech Tools, quality tools, essential support. And by RLS, original, patented, proven. All right, so we are dropping off all the materials to get the ducks started. So today's gonna be a big day. We got quite a few people gonna be working. We're gonna be running ducks, setting the equipment. So here's the condenser. Again, this is a five ton flex system. And there's the air handler, which is a five ton air handler. But yeah, we're just getting all the materials out now so we can get a game plan and get things rolling. All right, so what I did not show you already is that the last time I was here, I went in and got a floor plan, all the square footage, the insulation values, um, to where I can send that in to a buddy of mine that's local that does a load calculation. So that way there's no guesswork on the tonnage or the CFM per room or any of that. Um, it's all precise measurements. So that being said, um, and this came out to be a 4.7 ton system for the entire house and we're gonna be working with three zones So uh, and I was able to get a low calculation per zone so that way I know duck sizing and everything um, But yeah, so today we've got all that with us. We have all the zone dampers and everything So what uh, Trevor and I are gonna be focusing on today is getting the air handler set in place with the return uh, box the supply plenum uh, installed and then um, what we're gonna do is have, I have a duck crew here. They're gonna be focused on that. So we're gonna get the air handler set so that way they can run their ducks off of that supply plenum. And then we're gonna run the line set for the condenser, get the condenser set. And uh, we'll just go from there. You know, obviously we'll do as much as we can. You never know what you're gonna run into with a project like this, but that's the goal. You in there? Condenser. <laughs> All right, so we got Trevor down here working on the return box, the supply plenum. Basically, the air handler is going to go right here and go all the way up to the floor joist there. So I've got him cutting all the taps in, getting all these things sealed, insulated before we actually install it. So that way, once we do put it in place, they're ready to go. Uh, and the way I'd like to do it, is I have the box lined with insulation um, on the return and the supply. But what I also like to do is wrap it with some bubble wrap on the outside, uh, especially in this very damp basement. I don't want any of this stuff to condensate and to sweat. So I found that this works really well. Insulation on the inside and on the outside, everything's sealed up really nice. Um, and we should be in good shape. So what we're doing now is he's gonna go ahead and trim this down. I made this longer than I needed because I didn't know exactly uh, how tall we were gonna make it, so I just made it longer. So yeah, he's cutting that now. And we should be getting ready to get this thing put in place here shortly. All right, so we've got some progress done here. Air handler is now in place, return box, overflow pan, pump ups, supply plenum, everything is ready to go. The bypass is now installed, just needs to be insulated. So even though this is a variable speed system, the blower is not full variable speed. And even though I'm going to try my best to adjust the airflow depending on how many zones are calling, I wanted to put in a bypass just in case. And we do have a smart bypass damper made by EWC. So it actually monitors the, the, um, the duct pressure and it will modulate accordingly to, according to the, uh, the duct pressure. So, um, but yeah, it's basically just to make sure that, you know, we are gonna be moving enough air um, it's more of a fail safe. Hopefully it doesn't get used at all, but it's in there if we need it. So anyhow, we got some supply vents coming down. They're getting ready to run the main trunk off this zone here, which will 
catch everything in here. And then uh, crawl space on that side, which is the original part of the home, that's gonna be coming off this zone here. So it's gonna come across and I'm actually in the process now, I have to cut out the block wall right there. Kind of like what they did there. And boy, let me tell you, that is solid block and it's a pain in the butt. So yeah, that's not fun, but it's gotta be done. But yeah, we're, uh, we're making some headway here. We're definitely not gonna get as far as we wanted to today, but I'm very pleased with how everything has turned out so far. All right, so it is now the next day. Um, we're gonna be working on the condenser, but I wanna first show you the progress that we made down in the basement with all the duct work and the air handler and everything. And uh, we'll just go from there. All right, so this is looking pretty good. Obviously we showed you the air handling, the progress of that. So right now we just kind of got some, that's the return duct there. It's not quite connected yet. That's gonna be the supply for the third zone, but it's gotta go through that wall and they're not done framing that. It's an existing garage. So we're not gonna be ready for that zone today. So, but yeah, this is the progress so far. And today we are gonna work on getting the line set routed up and out. The condenser is basically right on the opposite side of this wall. Um, get the drain line hooked up and connected and all the safeties installed. Just go from there. Let's just see what we can do today. First things first, we gotta get the pad leveled up and square to the house. So Trevor's working on that now. And then we can go ahead and get this condenser set in place. And then what I think I'm gonna to have to do because this condenser is so tall and uh, I'm not sure exactly how top heavy it is. What I'm gonna do is probably drive some all thread through the pad down into the ground on all four corners, probably about four feet. So that way at least the pad is super solid. And um, It'll go through the feet of the condenser, so that way the condenser is nice and solid on the pad. And then we might tether the top of the unit to the house, so that way it can't teeter back and forth. But, um, so yeah, that's kind of the goal for, for the condenser. But right now we just need to get it uh, leveled up and square to the house so we can get this thing piped in. All right, so I just got done talking to the customer and they told me that this area actually floods a little bit and they want me to raise the condenser higher off the ground. So, which means we had to stop what we we're doing. We could not go any further, couldn't even flare the suction line because we are gonna have to lift it up. What I think we're gonna do is keep the pad because we have that nice and solid to solid ground, so we don't have to worry about that. But we do wanna elevate the condenser. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to go get some uh, risers, I guess is what they're called, but it's like a, a foam, not foam, but a rubber block that goes across. I think they're around 18 inches to 24 inches, something like that. And they have um, a piece of Unistrut that is embedded into the top of it. I think you can use it for rooftops, uh, for running piping or mounting equipment to. Uh, they sell some at Train Supply. So I'm gonna get two of them so they'll run from the front to the back and then because it has Unistrut on the, on the top, we can um, put some Unistrut nuts and then uh, bolt it down. So that'll give us, I think around uh, six, maybe seven inches of height off of the pad. So I think that's gonna work out just fine but that stopped us from being able to move forward today, which is unfortunate, but at least we're fixing the problem now. Um, I've got, basically my suction line was 
complete once I flared that. Everything was nice and level, looking good. So once this thing is raised up, what I'm gonna have to do is go down there and bend that to where this comes down level at a different height. So it's all right, it'll still work. Um, won't look as I originally planned, but it's all right. I'd rather fix it now than have to fix it later. And then also, um, because these are top heavy, especially since we're gonna be elevating it, I've got some uh, all thread brackets that I'm gonna mount here and then one down there. And we're gonna have a piece of all thread come to the house and we'll attach it, same thing here. But I need to get some rubber washers to put in between so that way it doesn't transfer any vibrations or harmonic vibrations or anything into the house, even though this is wood. Um, I wanna make sure I do that just in case, so. But anyway, uh, this is about as far as we got. We got the AirX um, Pro System installed. These things are phenomenal, they're plastic. They seal off to the house really nice. And then, uh, yeah, so that way, you don't have to worry about using silicone to cover the hole. It's nice and solid. Here's the actual box. Um, so it's an actual kit. It comes with the wall, which they call the Titan Outlet. And you can give them in different colors and different shapes, as you can see here. So uh, I guess they have a shorter version that's designed for uh, like vinyl. So that way it'll, it'll fit on the wall if you have siding. So obviously this fit just fine with this size. And then it also comes with the E-Flex guard. So it's basically something you put around the piping to protect the insulation. Um, this is it right here. So it's a whole roll of it. And on this one, it's white, which is good because it matches the house and it's gonna look real nice. So uh, it looks like it's got six feet of it. So I'll probably have to get some more if I want to do the whole thing. But uh, even if you don't use that, it comes with it. These things are awesome. So definitely recommend checking out that brand, AirX. So again, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to finish this install today or even get close to finishing it. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. When you're doing remodel jobs like this, you run into all types of situations and you just wanna make sure you're doing the best job that you can. So you just gotta roll with the punches sometimes. So right now, um, it's Friday. We're not gonna work super late. We kinda ran around trying to find something to work locally and we could not find it. So I'm not gonna waste any more time doing that. I know um, where they are. So I'm, first of next week, I'm just gonna go pick them up and then uh, come back and start working on this again. But that's going to complete today's video. Um, I hope you got something out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later.